Hey everyone, it's Alexandre Gallin from Rhino 3D Tutorials. I wanted to show you something really cool. Uh, I'm barely scratching the surface. I'm learning myself uh, that tool, but uh, it's Unreal uh, Engine. It's a gaming engine made for real-time rendering. And uh, you know, you, mo some of you have seen my tutorial using the Datsun as a surfacing exercise that I did, and then I rendered in uh, V-Ray for Rhino. So I wanted to transfer my Rhino files into uh, Unreal uh, Engine. And this is the result. I started creating my own materials. Some of the materials are V-Ray materials because you can buy, uh, you can see here at the top, you've got a V-Ray icon and uh, next to it, it's called V-Ray Bake. So you can do renderings, uh, V-Ray renderings within the Unreal Engine. But the neat thing is that you can export your uh, uh, your V-Ray settings from Rhino to Unreal and it opens up and it's going to create the materials I did some changes I changed some materials for the glass for example but I just wanted to show you how the surfaces came up like I said I'm just a beginner on Unreal but I just want to show you some of the little results that you can do in real-time rendering and this is the sort of coolest stuff that you can create with Unreal okay uh, and I invite you to check out other websites like fattybull.com. He has amazing tutorials on how to use Unreal. And um, you know, you create materials, you set up the lighting, HDR, HDR maps, uh, very similar to what you see with V-Ray. And you can create your uh, subject very quickly and it's all rendered in real time. Now, it doesn't look super photo real what I've done, okay? And I'm just using the, I'm working the editor menu right now, but I set up, you know, the, the you can see the lens flare, the bloom effect, uh, and the bokeh effect, uh, you can see on the camera. So that's pretty neat and it's all rendered in real time. So like I said, if you check out the, the tutorials on the internet, some of them are quite amazing. The types of renderings you can create, they're super photo real, and you can also animate uh, screens, you can have, create videos, you can add music, sound, etc, etc. Uh, and you, you can create a really very sophisticated environment. And that's what Unreal is for. It's to create these uh, gaming uh, platforms. Uh, so, for example, uh, Fortnite is one of those games that is extremely popular uh, for a couple of years now. Uh, it's using the Unreal Engine. And again, you can see that I'm using an HDRI map and the, the reflection are pretty darn good. Um, however, you know, for your information, it requires, uh, you know, a technology that on, on your computer that, that is quite advanced. So I'm using a Quadro RTX graphics card to be able to do that kind of stuff. I don't know how it works with uh, uh, the gaming cards and all that, you know, I, I'm sure they cater to that. But you know, with my RTX technology, uh, I'm pretty happy with the quality. I've tried a couple of times rendering uh, with the previous versions of Unreal. So the version that I'm using now is uh, version 4.25. And um, it works quite well when I exchange the files between Rhino and Unreal. It really works well. So there are two ways. You can use a data smith and it opens directly your Rhino File. So if you click on Data Smith, and you've got here all the different import files, and one of them is the Rhino file .3dm as you can see here. So it opens your native file, okay? But you're gonna have to create the materials and all that, uh, basically from almost from scratch. Uh, and if I use the V-Ray, so I cl just click on Import here, and it can import. If I scroll all the way down. You've got here V-Ray scenes, okay? And you can export in Rhino with the V-Ray for Rhino um, plugin. You've got, you can export V-Ray scenes from Rhino and then you just import in Unreal Turn Tournament the V-Ray scenes and you got this result. But once again, you know, I'm flabbergasted and I wanna insist on the fact that I'm just a beginner. This is just scratching the surface. I'm far from creating a super hyper real looking rendering, but um, if you're interested, you can check out, you know, Unreal uh, Engine. Uh, it is free, by the way, but you need a graphics card that can be compatible to do this sort of stuff. OK, it's not on any type of computer that you can do that. So check it out on the on Epic's website. Uh, Epic is a company that creates Unreal 
and try and dig out the information. But like I said, for me, I use RTX technology and it's a quadro graphics card. So that's it. Thank you for your attention. Take care.